that's me, Sarah, and I am on an epic Africa adventure. I started the adventure in Victoria Falls on the border of Zambia and Zimbabwe. Then I followed the river upstream to Chobi National Park. Here we saw the most amazing wildlife. Next we moved on to the Makati Kadi salt pans in the center of Botswana. There once again we saw different landscapes and animals. Hello guys and welcome to Nata Lodge in Botswana. Nata is famous for its bird sanctuary, the lakes here. I have already seen them twice from the airplane and I have seen the pink salt flats. Tomorrow we are going on an excursion to explore the lakes and the salt flats. For the last two days it has been raining a lot as well, so hopefully all goes well for the excursion and we're not stuck in a thunderstorm. But we will see, that's nature. But today we just traveled here. We traveled here from Kasane, which you will have seen in the previous video. And we thought that our flight was at 2 p.m. But instead at 8 a.m. we were woken up by our driver because the flight was at 10. So no breakfast, we got a takeaway one. And also very little time to pack the bag. But luckily I don't pack much and it was done fast. But yeah, that was a very unexpected adventure very early in the morning. If you know me, I'm not that great in the morning. Now I am off to go and explore around the area here. This room is absolutely beautiful, but there is no Wi-Fi in the rooms. So there is only Wi-Fi in the communal areas, which I'm going to take you guys to now. Before I unpack anything, I'm going to give you a tour of this amazing room. Look at this bathtub. And also the toilet, I'm assuming. There we go. What's outside here? Oops. Ooh, an outside shower. Don't know if I'll risk that, but okay. And then lots of closet space again. Great. And the beautiful bed. Look at that middle desk, a little sitting area, and a balcony. There we go. When I arrived here, I was triggered because it really reminded me of Isla Holbox, who remembers the accident that I had in Mexico. It also looked as flooded as the streets here did, but luckily the paths are actually okay. It was just the road here that was very puddly, but yeah, I got a bit scared. Okay, so here are some of the birds that can be seen here at Nata Lodge. It's famous for its bird watching. Uh, I can see a lot of them that we have already spotted in Kasane, in Chobe National Park. But, for example, the... Ooh, saw something I didn't want to see there. <laughs> the reptiles. Uh, let's hope we only see a lot of birds, especially the flamingos. Okay, so this is the restaurant. Then we have the reception right there and there is a bar as well. And now let's go and find the swimming pool. The swimming pool is just right in front of the bar, which is very convenient. Our driver just gave me all of the drinks that he still had in the car for us because it was quite a long drive and this is what we've come up with because they are all wet from whoops, <laughs> from being in the ice. There we go. I think that should be enough for the one day that we will spend here. I will give some to the other people as well just in case they might want some more water but to be honest, I think they'll be fine. There we go. I think that's enough food to get through one and a half days. <laughs> and I forgot these. <laughs> At the restaurant of the hotel, we had an amazing dinner as well. It was absolutely delicious. And the next day, the breakfast was also phenomenal. All right, it is now the next day. Good morning. Actually, it's 12 o'clock already. I've already had a delicious breakfast and it was so good. I've already taken a bath as well and I really enjoyed it and I've been working on the previous video all whilst waiting to go on the next adventure. I'm so excited to see what this excursion will bring and I'm taking you guys along right now.
So we have made it to the halfway point and we have got a drink as well. This is a cider that I got and right there is where we have just passed through. You'll be able to see all the videos with all the animals we've seen. We've seen a lot of ostriches, wildebeest as well. And this is the platform where we stopped at to have a look over one of the pans. And currently it is full of water. Not the pink salt flats that we were promised. We've seen one flamingo in total up until now. But it is a really beautiful landscape and we were lucky with the weather. We should also be seeing a sunset from here but today it is very cloudy and there's not much of a sunset to be seen. seeing the sunset we saw an incredible full moon rise such a great surprise and of course we ended our time here with another amazing dinner that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you liked it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss any of the next adventures then make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification by now i have left botswana and i'm on my way to namibia I'll be spending some time in Windhoek, Swakopmund, and I'll also be doing a self-drive to the south. So if you don't want to miss out on that, make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!